the foyer of 1869 Weston Hills. Right behind that door is a half bath. Here's your entry door. Coming around, you have the stairs to the upstairs where you find three bedrooms and the bonus room. Here's the living room. You've got a really nice mantelpiece and fireplace with gas logs framed by four windows. Two right beside it and two on the walls. And then in here you've got the big cathedral ceilings. This leads into the kitchen. First we'll take a look back towards the door. There's the stairs leading upstairs and again you've got the big soaring cathedral ceilings in here. Walking through into the kitchen. Got a really nice big kitchen. Lots of natural light. A full light door with the blinds built in. Custom cabinets with glazing. Granite countertops. Behind this door you have a really large laundry room. Built in pantry there. You've got the door that goes down to the basement, which is partially finished, almost 600 square feet. You've got the door to the garage. You've got plenty of room right here in the kitchen for an eat-in area, breakfast nook. But then in here, you've got your formal dining room, which you are all the way around. Plenty of room, as you can see for both the tables and any furniture you'd like to use. And you've got the boxed in window here. And that's the bottom level of 1869 Weston Hills. We're standing at 1869 Weston Hills. We're in the kitchen again. One of the things I loved about this kitchen, when we first looked at this house when they bought it, was this kitchen opens up right onto this back deck. It's real sunny today, so it's a little bright you get a good idea of the view and it sits up high above these other houses. Standing in the basement at 1869 Weston Hills. It's a large finished portion, almost 600 square feet of space. As you can see it's carpeted really nicely. In this room they've got good natural light coming in from those windows and they've set it up here with a, as a media room. Their kids come down here and watch movies, play the Wii, the whole family does. We've got this unfinished portion out here that's been really nice. They use it for store the bigger toys that they want to have in the room there, seasonal closet. It could be finished and add a lot of room. It's a really nice feature. But as you can see, it's got you know plenty of room for a lot of furniture, good amount of floor space. You could do more furniture if you wanted. One of the things the current owner really likes is this bathroom here. It's got the tile floor, but it has a full shower. So when she has company, she's been able to really, you know, they can stay down here and they have their own shower and everything. Uh, she entertains a lot of her family and she loves that feature. And then out here, you've got another room, unfinished, that has been utilized right now as sort of a workshop. It opens up out to the back deck there, backyard. They've set up a space to hang their bikes. They've got all their shelves for the paint and the tools and things like that. So that's another awesome feature. Keeps your garage free um, from that stuff that we usually tend to pack up in our garage. And this room can be finished really if you wanted to. It has a window back there as well.